G'day, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a big build at the moment, so the bench is in a real mess. But I just want to query you. I know uh, when I did a video recently, I think I, I showed my original Tyrannus, my 9X, D, 9DX, whatever it was, yeah, X9D, I knew I'd get there eventually. People remarked, what are you doing? Look, you've still got the plastic film on it. Seriously. And, and yeah, I have 2000 and I don't know when it was, but a long time ago, and I've still got the plastic film because, hey, I've seen people put screen protectors on these things, but look, the plastic film, it works as a screen protector. And, you know, I'm saving it for a rainy day. You know, some days you just feel really depressed and the world's on top of you and there's nothing more rewarding and exciting and pleasurable than peeling off the plastic on a new display. So I'm saving this for one of those days, but my life's generally pretty good. I don't have too many rainy days. I make the most of every day, so I haven't needed the therapy that comes from peeling the plastic off. But wait, it gets worse. Long before I had my Tyrannus, I had this 9X and look, look, the plastic's still on the display. Look at that. See that? Oh, this will get people to be foaming now. They'll be foaming at the mouth. What are you doing? And the reason this has come up is because look, I've now got the Tango 2, the, the brand new Tango 2. And can you spot anything on here? Have you noticed anything on my Tango 2 that you haven't seen? Focus camera on other people's Tango 2s. Yes, look, it's still got the little screen protector on. And guess what? I'm going to leave it on just to piss people off. <laughs> but seriously, I really, I didn't have that much of an issue with these things. Um, and I'm, if you really want to see the worst, the worst example of me, no, actually, here's the second worst example of me leaving screen protectors on. And it is my, my mobile phone. I have a really old school flippy phone, see that? But look, there's it. It's starting to come off by itself. There's a screen protector. This is like really old. Um, and the screen protector is starting to come. I have to get a new, no, it's not, I mean, the plastic's coming off. I have to get a new plastic thing on there because it's actually feathering away. And people also notice this. You see where it's wearing out on the thing? So I don't get the wear on the plastic. I get it on there. Um, people have also noticed it with my Rode microphone. They get so incensed. Take the plastic off your microphone. Well, no, I don't need to. It's still new. It is still new. And this is the thing that will probably really get you all super hyped up. Super hyped up. Now, I have a set of DJI digital FPV system, right? You want to look in here? Do you notice anything? <laughs> Can you see? I haven't taken the plastic off. I've used them all the time, but I've left the plastic on. I don't want to wear my eyes out. I don't want my eyes wearing out the plastic. There you go. Isn't that the ultimate? Now, when I bought my truck, my 1994, I think it is, Toyota pickup truck, I was gutted. I was gutted. It only had 250,000 kilometers on it, but someone had taken the plastic off the seats already. You know, it was just like the protective plastic that you get on new car seats. Someone had taken it off. I was so gutted, but there you go. Um, so what do you do? Do you take the plastic off as soon as you get it? Do you save it for a rainy day? Or like me, does you just stay there for the life of the product? Because the, the jumper, let us look at the jumper here. You'll notice I haven't taken the plastic off up here. Still here, see that? Well, but I did take the plastic off the screen because it comes with a screen protector. Uh, it had a screen protector in the box. I haven't put the screen protector on yet, but you can see you get the grubby fingerprints. I don't know if you can see them there. Probably bits of my DNA as well. Um, so yeah, that, that makes it hard to keep the screen clean. By comparison, so easy. So I shouldn't really have taken the plastic off there, but it was sort of kind of fair way off to start with. But hey ho, I do sometimes take it. Well, once I've taken it off. I've taken it off once. So you'll be pleased to know that. And everything else I've got still got the plastic on. It makes it hard to eat my lunch, mind. Those sandwiches, and if you take the plastic off, they don't taste quite so good. But there you go. You know, this is just one of those things. Some do, some don't. I thought I'd try and kick up a bit of con controversy on a day when I'm busy building stuff on the bench. Why am I building stuff on the bench? Well, as I say, I got the new Tango 2, and I don't have a system with cross or a, a quad or a plane with crossfire in it. So I had to rush out and buy a couple of crossfire receivers, setting it up so I can give you the full in depth review of the crossfire. And uh, um, I'm not a fanboy. But I'm certainly looking for an alternative to the traditional things. One thing you notice with all these other transmitters, I'm going to do a special video on this alone, is that these are all so damn big. They're so damn big and they're so easily bent. You know, the switches break if you throw them around in your box. And I've got a QX7. I have its own little carrying case for the QX7 because I do use it in my backpack and I am concerned about the, the switches and sticks getting bent and broken. This, I've got to say, seems to be a wonderful solution to that whole issue. This is so small you can throw it in your backpack, in your pocket if you want to. Um, I did get sent this by Team Black Sheep. I didn't have to buy this with my own money, uh, which is great. One of the benefits of being a reviewer, but it doesn't change my outlook. I'm going to give a totally objective review and 
subjective objective oh anyway it'll be just facts just the facts folks um gotta say initially i'm really liking the the grip and so forth i'm a thumber so um yep the sticks are way stiff for my liking that's like whoa i like to have mine as light as possible um i'll see what i can do about reducing the spring tension um i've noticed like yeah yeah th these are way way stiff but hey that's personal choice people like them stiff some do some don't and so I'll be walking you through that, but I need to have a model with crossfire in it. So I bought a couple of receivers, set that up. And one thing I'm going to be looking at, which I think everyone who's got a mint, tiny warp would like to hear, is, I mean, one of the problems we've got is that everyone loves to use tiny warps and micro quads inside in the winter, when it's winter up north now. Um, none of them have crossfire. So you can't use your Tango 2 to control your tiny warp or your tiny, you know, your little indoor quad. Well, guess what? I've got a solution to that. And um, I'm going to, present the idea in a video, maybe it'll be a DIY project, maybe Team Black Sheep will just say, hey, that's a good idea, let's do that. And then they can provide the necessary bits to make this compatible with Free Sky, Fly Sky, whatever receivers. And it doesn't involve putting a multi-protocol, it doesn't involve opening up this and putting multi-protocol modules in, no, no, no. It is a um, no screws, no soldering, no whatever method of doing it that will um, hopefully, you know, be worthwhile you tell me when i show you the video anyway there you go that's it just a quick video while the bench is in a state of disarray because i'm building a crossfire equipped quad look at that no anyway thanks for watching guys uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it if you don't like it uh, go and watch someone else's video and just a reminder if you haven't seen on my xjet channel the video made by jack thornton about the nprm go and have a look on my xjet channel or go to jack's channel which is initial fpv and watch that video and spread word far and wide. It's the best hope you guys in America have got of saving your hobby. He's done a fantastic job. Anyway, that's it. It's not really a weekly news. It's just a look at the bench and that's why. So stay tuned. Review on this coming up very soon. And I'll also be doing um, some other stuff that uh, you'll probably want to know about, but I'm not going to get into it now. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.